All right, guys, welcome to part two of the Real American Outdoor Shotgun Series Basics videos. So now we're going to get into the difference between birdshot, buckshot, and slugs. So on the table I have right now is all different types of rifled slugs. So what it, a rifled slug looks like is you see it's just a, it's called a slug because it's just a piece of most of the time lead inside the shotgun shell and this one is has a hollow point and very common they're often used as more of a hunting and sometimes a self-defense round so they make them in all different uh, gauges so on the table i have 12 20 and 410 and so they're very mostly used in states where you cannot use rifles for hunting deer so as you can see hornaday makes their American Whitetail series. Federal makes theirs on the middle there. And then we have Winchester and 410 on the, on the right. So I'm gonna grab the Hornaday box again. And it does give a good visual representation of what it actually looks like. So as you can see on here, it has the rifling. And then um, once it, so that means it will spin in the barrel and therefore give you more distance and accuracy. Um, this one's meant for smooth bore um, um, barrels, so pretty much that means there's no rifling in your barrel. You can look down your barrel of your shotgun, obviously with no ammo in it, of course. And you can even see the rifling in it, or you can see if it is a smooth bore. And on the box, it has, um, obviously it has your 12 gauge, as we focus, if we can focus in on it. And it has three quarter, and it also has the muzzle velocity on there. So this one says, um, if you can see, it travels at 1600 FPS. So that's pretty standard for most slugs is to travel at that distance, or at that rate, sorry. Um, as you can see on the Federal, you know, it also has the velocity of 1610 FPS, just a little more. Um, 20 gauge, it has the same thing. And we can see on the 410 that it travels at, if that can focus in, 1800. And this is a three inch and it's a quarter ounce weight. So that's basics of slugs. Some people use them for home defense. Most common, they're used in hunting in states that don't allow hunting with rifle rounds. Next, we're going to get into buckshot. All right, so the next round we have is the buckshot. So as you can see, um, it's the same size and two and three quarters it comes in, except buckshot, it, it's more pellets. It's not one single slug like we saw with the rifled slugs. So in this case, as you can see on the box here, this has nine pellets. And the size is, this is double lot. It's not zero, zero, it's double lot buck. So what double lot means is what the diameter is referring to of the pellets inside the shell. So the sizes can range from four all the way to triple lot, with number four being the smallest pellet size and triple lot buck being the biggest. So these pellets and double lot buck are about 0.33 inches. And number four on the other end of the spectrum is 0.24 inches. So they are noticeable if you compare the two pellet sizes. Um, additionally, as we'll zoom in here as this comes into focus, if it ever decides to, um, the muzzle velocity is 1325 feet per second, as you can see right here. So a lot of times buckshot is a very popular home defense round. It's one of my home defense rounds I use in my shotguns as well. Um, some ranges indoor lets you use it. Most ranges indoor will let you use rifled slugs or even outdoor on the range, but some will let you use buckshot as well. Um, some people will do the candy cane, will to put in one, it's one rifled slug, then one buckshot, and they'll alternate with the other. So buckshot, very popular home defense round. Um, not really practical for hunting per se if you're going for big game you'd probably want more of a slug than the buckshot and the pellets are a little too big for waterfowl and things like that which is brings us into birdshot which is most likely going to be used for your hunting needs in terms of waterfowl and also it kind of leads into target loads so let's get into the birdshot 
All right, guys, now we're going to be discussing birdshot and target loads. So birdshot, there's a wide variation in terms of size of pellets you can use in terms of um, the shot sizes and what they're made out of. So oh, a lot of them are made out of lead. There's some that are made out of steel, and there's also some that are made out of tungsten. Um, the most common are probably lead and steel tungsten is a little more expensive. And even the BB sides compared to steel and lead shot can um, vary depending on what size you are buying. So lead shot sizes, um, the most common you see anywhere from BB all the way up to 8, but you can get some that are 8.5, 9, or even 12, but they are more rare. The most common you'll see in stores, and you can find the shot size, it's clearly labeled on there. Um, this happens to be seven and a half inch shot. As you can see, this is eight, and we have another seven and a half. Um, so seven and a half, that is 0.95 diameter of the pellets inside the shells. If we had steel, um, usually the biggest you see in steel is six and that diameter is 0.11 inches so roughly the same just um more of the lead gets to the smaller sizes and um depending on what you're going for you're going to want to um, change your shot size so for example if you are going for um let's say uh we'll just say quail if you're going quail hunting um a lot of people recommend that you use, you know, seven, eight ounce weight and then a number eight shot, but in lead. If you're going for, let's say, I don't know, what do we got here? T turkey. You're going to want to go number six with a heavy shot tungsten, you know, shell because turkey is more tougher than other smaller birds. This one says if you want ducks, you want one and a quarter ounces of number two shot steel that goes 1450 FPS. So, some of the even boxes come with, you know, they have all the different, you know, selecting the right shell for all the different, you know, waterfowl or birds, or they even have rabbits and squirrel on this one. And they have distance and they even have what choke, which we'll get into chokes in part three. And then they even have what lead shot size they recommend. Most of the hunting rounds being from the bigger birds from four to six, and then our smaller and even in our um land creatures is more six to nine this is more land creature or rabbit squirrels more of our four to six as well so um there's then we get into target loads which is more meant for you know trap shooting but um it's very similar to you know bird shot in terms of recoil and pellets and this is number eight shot and our velocity is 1200 and this is 20 gauge so um a lot of ranges, the outdoor ranges I go to, have a limit to the shot number that you can shoot, um, mostly for distance purposes. So the outdoor range we go to has a limit of 7.5, so they don't let us shoot the number 8 shot. They only will let us shoot the 7.5 that's listed there. So that's kind of the basics of birdshot and all the different types of ammo you can use in these. If you go to the store and you just walk down the shotgun shell aisle, you can see they're all presented and it's kind of confusing if you don't know what you're doing. So don't be afraid to ask for help, but this is kind of the basics to help guide you through. If you're just looking to shoot clay pigeons, you know, you don't need the fancy tungsten, you know, number four shot that's meant for you know, hunting to make sure you get a quick clean kill of that species you're hunting, you know, go with more of the target load and make sure you know what your shot limit is depending on what kind of range you're going to. So thank you for watching part two of this video. Stay tuned for part three where we go in the different types of shotguns and actually uh, get to see some of mine that I have. Hey guys, Tony from the Rario here. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell to make sure you get any notifications for any YouTube videos in the future. Uh, feel free to check out our website to get cool shirts such as these, um, even coming out with hats in the near future. Um, please make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and make sure to listen to our podcast wherever you get your podcast, Spotify, Apple, wherever that may be. Thank you very much for supporting your channel, and we'll catch you later.